When exposed to mechanical stress, certain materials such as quartz crystals and some ceramics produce tiny amounts of electricity. This effect, called piezoelectricity, is used in barbecue lighters to create a spark that lights up the flame. It is also used to create audio signals in crystal phono cartridges and crystal microphones. But piezoelectricity only works when the applied force changes from pressure to release and back. Gravity, on the other hand, is a constant force. The problem with gravity is that it's always pushing in one uh, manner. Dutch architect Jan Jap Roschenaars noticed that when a long vertical pole attached to a base plate is pushed out of balance, it tends to wobble for a long time, applying intermittent pressure on the edges of the base plate. So the actual invention that you're looking at here, the gravity energy device, is uh, introducing change. So once gravity is, is being uh, transformed into a changing thing, then you can uh, generate electricity, and that's what you're seeing here. Piezoelectric material inserted between the wobbling base plate and the solid ground is exposed to constantly increasing and relaxing pressure, thus creating electricity. With very little input, we get instability in this system, gravity takes over. The wobbling of the pole can be produced even when the hot air created by a lamp starts turning a small rotor on its top. It's really so new that we still have to discover what is the, the most optimal, but it's, it's indefinite uh, or infinite basically how many piezo material you can add to it. Roshenar says the same principle could be applied on a larger scale for charging car batteries or in standalone electricity generators. George Putic, VOA News.